Well, Julia's three, and she has cystic fibrosis. I have cystic fibrosis. When she was diagnosed, her doctor said this is a very expensive and a very labor-intensive illness. And at the time, we didn't know <laughs> what she meant by that, but it, it really is. It's a lot of work. The vest is definitely, it's my prized possession because before we had the vest, it was manual chest physiotherapy. Um, with the vest, you can hook her up and most of the medicines you can do at the same time. And so it's definitely, I mean, it still takes a lot of time, but it cuts out a, a lot of treatments as well. I guess when you have CF or a child with CF, or maybe if you have CF, you kind of feel like you don't fit in anywhere. You know, I've been at mom and me play groups and moms are complaining about this or that and my child has an earache and I was up all night and you just think gosh what would I give to just have an earache don't take each breath for granted some people really have to work hard to just to breathe I think that once you meet someone that has cystic fibrosis or is in the CF community that you can't help but not caring about them and, and their family and their stories. Jordan, we found out uh, soon after his birth that he uh, had cystic fibrosis. My name is Jordan and I'm eight years old and I have cystic fibrosis. I don't even know how to spell it. Cystic fibrosis affects my lungs and my pancreas. When you find out that they have cystic fibrosis, the first reaction is concern that you're, you're going to have to face um, trials in their life with them that may be hard to bear. Cystic fibrosis is a heart disease because you have to do all these treatments and you have to take all these medicines in the morning and all night. It's amazing when you approach a community and tell them of things you've got going on in your life. When you announce that your kids have cystic fibrosis, how much they care and how much they're willing to help. All the, the money that's being raised is going so directly to helping find these, these drugs and help find the cure. I hope that one day I'll be able to be a grandfather and watch my kids raise their own families without the stress of worrying about having cystic fibrosis and to know that they are going to be okay and that they're going to live a full life. He was a small baby, but we thought he was pretty perfect. The doctors and us started, and we started getting concerned and so we ended up going to Primary Children's. A couple days later, we got a call from a doctor, and he said, I just wanna, I'm so sorry, but I wanna let you know that your son Elliot has cystic fibrosis. And we learned how to start doing the therapy. When he was little, we weren't able to use the vest. We had to use little percussion cups and uh, tap on his chest and on his back um, twice a day, and that's what we do. We do this, the vest twice a day, and his, his medicine, and, they taught us that that's what clears up the mucus out of his lungs so that um, it doesn't grow and build bacteria and eventually kill off the lung tissue. So we do that religiously so that he can stay healthy and that those lungs can stay healthy and big. As of when he was born, the life expectancy was 37. And that kind of did a toll on us because you're, supposed, you're not supposed to outlive your children. Um, we expect him to live a, a full life to uh you know, do everything that everyone else has. He really, with the way that the, the treatments and the drugs in the pipeline are progressing, uh, his outlook is continuing to get better and better. Research still needs to go. The medicine is getting better, but it needs to be even better than that, and we need to eventually find a cure. Well, the foundation has been amazing. Every single dollar that they raise, 90% of it goes to research, and that's unheard of. If the CF organization didn't exist, we'd be, you know, 20 or 30 years behind in, in the treatments and the possibilities. I want him to be a grandpa and I want him to be a dad. And that's something that I know that with research and with the medicine that's coming out, it's, it is possible. 
and when people donate, it goes towards their research. I expect him to be an extraordinary, extraordinary boy and grow into an extraordinary man.